Good evening, everybody. Utterly Insane Productions presents The Insane Asylum with Mark and Joe, where they talk about UFOs, paranormal, the unexplained, conspiracy theories, and more. You never know what will be said next. Hello, everybody. Hi. Bye. Oh, bye. I'll be right back. Thanks for the warning. Uh, on this episode, we're going to talk about whether or not mermaids are real. Mermaids? Mermaids. This is our extra show. Not like Little Mermaid in the cartoon. Why not? Aren't how, do you know, how do you know that, that Ariel's not real? Oh, it, Aren't mermaids real? mean? Oh, so does that mean uh, King Neptune's real then, too? Sure. Or whatever his name well, is? Or... Isn't, isn't he a god? No, that was Poseidon. Oh, oh that's right. Poseidon. Poseidon. Okay, okay. I got it god, wrong. Yeah. But yeah, King Neptune, I... isn't he Poseidon's son? I, I, don't, I, 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 I don't know where that come in. Anyway, I think that's just some Disney made-up thing. Who knows? But anyway, no, we're talking about because a while back, there was what we call a mockumentary. Okay. What's a mockumentary? It wasn't real, but it was made to make you believe it was real. Oh. Okay. It was. They didn't tell you it was a hoax until it was all over. With. And then they told you the real reason why they did the, the, the show. It was on TV. It was pretty cool, actually. You know. Mark and I were talking about it a little while ago, and, and we thought it was pretty cool. I watched it a couple of times, but but it had a theory about how how what was it that you said? Uh, was it history show? Yeah, it was either the I, I don't know which one, but I do remember it, and it was on like several times. And it could have been the Discovery Channel. It could have been the History Channel. It could have been Animal Planet. One of those three. It was one of those three because it was on the lower end of the, the channel guy. Um, but anyhow, you said it was that they. Uh, it showed that they evolved from apes. Okay. Was it? I, I, I'm having a hard time remembering it because it was a while back. It was like last year or something. But it was cool as hell. It had me believe for a while there. Yeah, it, uh, it, I remember it showing it, it started out where you know, was, um, apes learned how to fish and they spent more time in the water than the land and therefore they started to develop the web. They started evolving into yeah, they started uh, evolving with webs in their fingers and between their feet, and, and then um, yeah, they were already making um, uh, their tools out of like bones and stuff as well, like carving it out of bones to make their spears and, and, and their equipment that they, they had, their weapons or whatever to, to, to feed with. You know, and that was even before, but it was like they were like on like some kind of island type area, and then the island was the, the water was rising because this happened. So it was Megalodon was still around, yeah, in their theory. So it, it, you know, and this 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 happened, so quite a few for the argument's sake, we're gonna say millions of years ago because that's when Megalodon was around. All right. But, so they started evolving into these aquatic creatures and started swimming with the dolphins and the whales. And, you know, they, they started swimming more and more. And then they got, the more they, the more they spent more time in the water, the more they adapted to spending almost all the time in the water. Well, that's the thing that, that they did. Yeah, the, the legs eventually disappeared in tails. Yeah, in tails. It started out. Didn't it start out showing their feet turning 
like almost like uh, what we would have we, as uh, we the. Have, if you look at our hands and our feet and everything else, we have better. Yeah, but didn't they make their feet almost look elongated, like the the fins that you would wear when you go swimming and scuba diving? Facebook actually didn't fuck up this time too. I was actually quite shocked. I'm sorry, I didn't mention it. Oh well. In this well, article that I found. Alright, in this article you found. Oh, she found an article. In this it's article about that I found. It, it basically states that, that the Little Mermaid, the Disney version of Little Mermaid, is a somewhat sanitized version of Hans Christian Anderson fairy tale first published in 1837. Yeah, well, that that's just the other thing, too, like, um... Yeah, you don't want to know what, what actually And in some it, legends from Scotland and Wales, mermaids befriended and even married humans. Yeah. Yeah, so that they could get legs and they didn't have to return to the sea. That... Or the person to disappear and go to see with them and become a murder. Who knows? I mean, there's all kinds of theories on that one, I'm Look sure. On the but but there, there has been, if I'm not mistaken, there has been actual weird mermaid-looking creatures carved in some of those walls, like where you got the old ancient uh, hieroglyphs of the glyphs. Well, one of the things that, that uh, is commonly mistaken for her, right? Yeah. Yeah, ugly looking fucking thing. It looks like a... They, they're just an ugly looking thing. Help you with what? Yeah, oh, anyway, back to the mermaids. mermaids. <laughs> you, you, were mermaid. you were talking about the manatees. You want to build a snowman? Did you guys see the article that woman that actually literally got surgery to go and she was actually out of the mermaid? By yeah. the way, the guys, well, the mysterious hey, voice you you're little, hearing uh, is my daughter Janice. Did you see the documentary? Fused together. Fused together. Oh, and, and she was called the original real mermaid. Or how about, how about, let's see, oh, let's see, uh, what was it? Uh, a chimp's body and, and a, uh, a huge, large fish a tail. Fish tail. That's, uh, that, that was, was uh, Bar uh, Ringley uh, uh, Barnum, Barnaby Bailey. Uh, it was one of his. Uh, the guy, Bailey, the guy that, brothers and the guy that was famous for 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 freak shows back then, and I hate to use the word freak shows, but that was what they were called back then. The greatest showman. Yeah, Barnum, wasn't it Barnum? You know, he discovered like Tom Thumb and all of that. But he's P.T. Barnum. That's it, P.T. Yeah, Barnum. P.T. Barnum. Barnum was the one that discovered that or it had that monkey. It was like half a monkey body, the upper half of a monkey body with the arms well, and all Ripley's, of that. Believe it or not, actually. Not, not right. Not. Ripley's has it on, on display now, along with a lot of P.T. Barnum's atrocities, as they're called nowadays. Um, but that was like a fake one, you know, that was made, you yeah, know. It was a fake one. Right. But that's how, that's how far back that, and that dates back to when he was like, Starting out, right? 
I mean, so that that thing about mermaids goes back to, I mean, that legend's got to go back. People, you know, I bet that's some kind of sea legend where it where goes back. You should look that up, how far that dates back. But that was like one of his Didn't original acts. Barnum was an American showman, politician, and businessman remembered for promoting celebrated hoaxes and for founding the Barnum and Bailey service. Yeah. So they weren't celebrated hoaxes, in other words, freak shows, like the Elephant Man. But that was where they, they uh, used it for money. Exploited the that's what I was, that, that was the word I was looking for, exploited people, too. And he was good at that. But anyway, it was, I mean, it dates back quite a, quite a long ways, uh, the, the whole legend of the mermaid. Um, the belief in mermaids may have arisen at the very dawn of our species. Magical female figures first appear in cave paintings in the late Paleolithic Stone Age period oh, some 30,000 years ago when modern humans gained dominion over the land and presumably began to sail the seas. Half human creatures called chimeras Chimera. also abound in mythology in addition to mermaids. There were wise centaurs, wild satyrs, and frightful oh. minotaurs to name, a, to name but a few. Now you're talking about the Odyssey. Well, that's something else to talk about someday too. Is is I'm is reading an like article that says our our mermaids are real. Senators and senators, minotaurs, are minotaurs from Greece and the Odyssey. Well, they're from all kinds of things. Yeah, I mean, that's that is a Greek Greek, Greek um, mythology. Yes, it's Greek mythology. Um, I'm trying to remember the guy, the, the name of the of the character from the Odyssey. There, you know, you know, we can get into stuff like that. It, it, you know, speaking of like unexplained and stuff like that, talk about like Medusa. And, Watch, I'll, I'll, I'll remember. I'm sorry to go off track. No one there. <laughs> you always go off track. But it's expected with us. No, it's expected with you. Fuck you. You're the one that makes my train derail sometimes. Oh. I, I swear, we well, gotta she get She does it, it all the fucking gotta, time. She, she busts my bubble almost every fucking day. She won't fucking... No, I'm watching. And my ring could go there. <laughs> flipper? Big... Flipper? Dog. Flipper? Flipper. Oh, I thought we were talking Flipper. Flipper. I thought maybe I was going to say dolphin. she ain't old enough to watch Flipper. No, Flipper. No, you're not old enough to know who Flipper is. Who's that? I mean, you know, no, it's a dolphin. Flipper was a dolphin. How do you know that? How do you know it was a, a porpoise with a purpose? The whale was free willing. We'll, we'll do that later in the bedroom and I'll free willy for you. Girl. No, that, that's just going <laughs> way. Virgin, guys. Can we edit that? No, we can't. That we ain't don't, right. We don't that edit is nothing not anymore. Right. You know, that is my mom you're talking about. Yeah, well, See, I, I'm a virgin. Yeah, you what? wish. Yeah, okay. And my grandson and granddaughter were virgin births, right? Yeah, they were miracle no, birth. That that, ex that explains a lot with Adeline. Yeah, you're just a little misled. <laughs> I'm still a virgin. No, you're I'm sorry. I love my granddaughter to death, but boy, is she a handful when she's around here. Why do you think of her nickname on here as Madeline? <laughs> she's got she's got Madeline? she's got that what was it remember i'm sorry we're going off topic again but remember that guy that used to yeah, have all those faces train derailing. when we were kids growing up it was like a toy and it had all the, the faces and the disguises and so, um, anyway yeah adeline has got so many fucking faces if i could ever catch her on a good day on the camera you'd, you'd understand um we still have those pictures. I have a lot no. of photos. Anyway, Her famous one is back to the mermaids. 
Back on topic, guys. For the merman. Murder maids. Murder maids. Oh, that's, that's one of the legends that, that mermaids they were would, aggressive. Sing their, would sing their siren song to the to, to the sailors. Fish, to the sailors and, and lure them into the sea. Yep. Yeah. Only to be lost at sea and never found again. Right. They, they fed, also, mermaids fed on the souls. Also, if you really want to look at it, the, the ones in, I know it's a movie, Pirates of the Caribbean, they were mean. Well, so were the, were the ones that were like, uh, remember really? the, no, remember the, the all right, you want to speak movies, uh, look at, here's a real famous movie that, that everybody's watched, most generations have watched by now more than once. The, the Goblet of Fire, uh, Harry Potter Goblet oh, yeah. of Fire, when uh, Harry had to go on the water. Those ones were really mean. They were and, really mean. and those mermaids were they like, had, um, they had pitchforks and stuff. They were pitchforks. Those, those aren't like, pitchforks. Those yeah. aren't pitchforks. They, they actually have a name. Tritons. Yes. Yeah. Tridents. Tridents. Yeah. Thanks for having me on the show, which but looks, uh, which, I have Tritons. Which looks like I a pitchfork. Bad. So sad. You know, and they were vicious. They were yeah, vicious, and they were tiny spots. little fuckers, but they were vicious, and there was lots of them. Yeah. They were almost, you know what they, they kind of, you know what they reminded me of in that Harry Potter movie? What? The, the, when we were growing up, there was a thing called, the, uh, you could get it out of the comic books, in the back of the comic books, the sea monkeys. Remember the sea monkeys? Oh, yeah. Did you ever try to raise the sea monkeys? Yeah, I actually have. I never saw a fucking thing. I tried. Yeah. And and but but they always showed these little things and they look like them fucking mermaids from the Harry Potter movies. That Harry Potter movie. That's what they look like in the little commercial or the ads for the yeah. sea monkeys. But I never saw a fucking thing. And I did exactly words, everything grow? that was said. It didn't grow. I don't I think it was all a fucking hoax. Probably just, just to get money. fucking money. Yeah. You know. That's like the guy that was probably inventing silly, silly putty probably came up with the idea because it was supposed to be something else and all of a sudden he put it down and he got mad and he sat there and slapped the fucker on his newspaper and then he went and lifted it up and he's like, oh wow, kids would love this and now I'm a millionaire, a billionaire, you know. But it was, all, it was probably supposed to be something, all I mean some other kind of putty and it just didn't work out that way. And the guy got frustrated, pissed, and slammed it down on his newspaper, right on the comic section. And it became a kid's toy. Well, that's how most fucking things are invented. Yeah, it is. Some, I mean, think about it. Who invented the fucking hula hoop, for Christ's sake? I mean, if you look back at the history of that, it goes back to somebody with a metal barrel rings around. And then they turned it into this fucking plastic thing, and they're a fucking millionaire. Can I ask you how, how I don't know. We went off for hours. How does that have anything to do with hey, me? I don't know how I went off the rail. I don't know how you went off the rail, but you always do. Anyway. So we'll get back to the theories. Okay. What theory? Oh, they're mermaids. Are they mermaids? Are they real? Yeah, even though it was a thing for the, like, trying to get the government to stop their sonar testing. Yeah. But that was still. That was to, to show the dangers of, of the sonar testing. Well, uh, it just, it Something like that. It, it, it was the it was dangers. Of water explosions. I, no, it was like sonar testing. It was, it was only. No, they, they, they tried to get the government to stop Right, um, but that wasn't this. This was this was more about the, the sonar well, testing. Or I, think it, I think it was sonar testing because it was uh, disrupting the, disrupting their their the, own the navigation. Sonar, yeah, their the navigation skills. Right, 
and die. Nice. Right. Yeah, it was some kind of, uh, uh, you know, one of the environmental type groups that were behind the whole thing. But there was also scientists involved too. Yep. They came up with that mockumentary. Which I thought was extremely interesting because they did. Well, like I said, they they did it make was, it so it fucking very, believable. It was very believable. They they really did a good job making that fucking thing believable. I mean, right down to to using bones uh, from whales and shit like that to to making their weapons with the, their spears or whatever to to swimming with a dolphin. To how they they had the mermaids swimming with the dolphins and the whales across the the, 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 the greater depths of the ocean yeah. so that they'd avoid yeah, dolphins, megalodon. Dolphins or were, were, um, the the, the or, or how the or how like you said and, and made a point because I forgot about that point where the one sacrificed itself to megalodon so the whole family See, could get across. Same right. Right. So that they could get across the the depths to the other side, warmer waters or whatever. I can't remember what it was, but they were like migrating or something. The dolphins. They were following the. They were following the migration of the dolphins and the, the whales or whatever. There was like two two other species in there with that that they were swimming with, if I remember right. Yeah. You know, it could have been killer whales. It could have been, you know, either way, it it, it was very believable. Well, that and, and I'd say, I'd say, if you get a chance, look it up. It was on one of those channels. What did we say? It was like the Discovery yeah, Channel. Channel. Did you find out? It was on the Animal Planet. You might be able to find it on their website to look at it. I'll tell you. Um, but they did. They kept it a secret that it was a mockumentary until the very, very end. I was trying to look it up here on on uh, YouTube, but it doesn't. It, it when you click on it, you go to it. It tells you that it's been removed because it's not copyright. Well, if you get if you get a chance and you're shopping on Amazon, follow the link at the top of our website. Which, which you can find at the bottom down here, you know, www.utterlyinsaneproductions.com. Uh, and the Amazon banner at the very top of the page, click that, make your order through there, and it'll help us grow and keep bringing better shows to you. The more we get, the more you help us, the better we can, better we can improve things. And if um, you're using the, the um, AVG browser, won't find that. Right, we found that out today yeah, too. Yeah, checking that out. And, and, and please subscribe to us on YouTube. You help us uh, grow there. We get 100 yeah, subscribers yeah. and we can start monetizing our, our YouTube and getting a kickback there. We can also, if we get 100 subscribers, we can also get our own special customized domain name on YouTube. So we also, cool. so if you like our show, please subscribe. You'll also get the benefit of getting every time we upload a new show video to YouTube, you'll get a notification. So please also follow and like us on Facebook, tell your friends and it won't be, but you know, hopefully I don't know what the weather is going to be like, but hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed and hopefully within the next couple of months, we can all get back out on the road with our t-shirts, our cool new t-shirts, you know, thanks to our sponsor, Tanya, that uh, we'll be back out on the road with some new equipment and doing some new investigations at some new locations. And you can always donate to us. I, I, I think our PayPal uh, donation button is still up on our website somewhere, too. Yeah, it is. And while well, Mark's still looking for this, I'm going to do another uh, it, plug I here think quick. It was, I think it was called Mermaid, Mermaids, the Body of Mel. 
No, it's right there. That guy with a beard and that guy. The new evidence. No, that's not. That's the one. That, that's the mockumentary. That's the yeah, second part so to the mockumentary. So is this. So is this. This is part of the mockumentary. It remains the body count. That's the original. Yeah, and then the new evidence is where they, they came out with that and told you. Then there's the new evidence, 2013. This one here, the kid's cell phone. Right. Yeah, that's the that's the that's the one where they come out at the end and tell you that it was all a hoax and to to to, to try to do this to, to stop from them from saying the body count. Right. So it's yeah, it's two parts. There was like two parts to it. But you, that they doesn't tell you because you're looking on YouTube. That doesn't tell you that if it's what channel it was on for sure. It's Animal Planet. It was the Animal Planet. Anyway, we can also now, our podcast can now be found on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloudRadio.com, Deezer, Spotify, TuneIn, Radio Public, Stitcher, and CastBox. Cast and we're on audio boom as well. We're still waiting for Pandora and what was the other one? I forgot. There's the video of right. them traveling in the group. <clears throat> what was that one that we were waiting for? Number one. Oh, um, I Heart Radio. We're still yeah. waiting for I Heart Radio and Pandora. And Pandora. Yeah, that was yeah. That's the one. And they look so cool. They even they, they even had like what they didn't they have like a skull or something. They made this look so real that they even had a skull and they had a scientist yeah. showing you a skull of a, a mermaid. Yeah, it was so cool. Yeah, it's on YouTube. It, it was called uh, Mermaids the Mermaid made the, the Body, body found. found. That's the original. And then the other one was uh, The New Evidence. Yeah. Mermaid the New Evidence. So. You want to watch the body found first, Mermaid the body the found is, first. The problem is, it's not on YouTube. There's sections of it on YouTube. Well, at you least they're giving on here. The one I found that showed supposedly the whole documentary, it told me it had been removed because of the copyright. Right. Well, you'll, you'll, you'll find bits and pieces of it at least. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd try the Animal Planet, Travel Channel, Discovery Channel. It was on one of those three. He says it, it was, was animal, planet, animal Planet, but I think it might have been on more than just one because I think they're associated. They're all, they're all the same. They're all the That's what I was saying. I think they might have played it they're across all, all three boards. So you might find it there. But it was a very good show. It was very interesting, and it sure did make me believe right up to the end. I mean, like we said back, back on earlier today when we were live, we said anything's possible. Yeah. You know, nothing's impossible. You know, and and for what we do, going out and doing the, the investigations that we do, we have to, to think that way, and we have to keep an open mind. Mind, excuse me, because we don't know what we'll see. We don't know what we might run into. And we're the types that's going to try to figure out what it is. And if we don't know, we're going to say we don't know. We're not going to assume. Just to let you know. But I don't know. I think this is possible. Or was possible. I mean, some of these stories have to come from some type of truth something or something. Not all of them, but I mean, man. So fucking believable. So, looks like you're getting tired. Sorry, this one's in the can. So, thank you for watching. You've been watching Utterly Insane Productions or Insane Asylum. And Utterly Insane Productions. Utterly Insane Productions presents Insane Asylum. I'm Joe, that's Mark. And Tanya was over there on the other camera. and 
Yeah, sorry, 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 like us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. Tell your friends. And remember, this podcast is going everywhere right now. So we're going to keep growing as long as and much as we can. And, and we'll see you next week. Hopefully we'll have a better topic. Yeah. All right. I'm Joe. This is Mark. And we're out of here.